this video is about trophic levels and pyramids of biomass and it's related to the ecology unit for AQA GCSE biology. So this is only GCSE biology and not combined science. So let's just quickly do a spec check. So what we're going to look at uh, is um, describing the differences between trophic levels of organisms within an ecosystem. So I'll talk about those different trophic levels and then pyramids of biomass, how you construct them to represent the relative amount of biomass in each level of food chain. So as it says there, students should be able to construct accurate pyramids of biomass from appropriate data. So just very, very quick, here we go. So this is a recap of food chains. So what I would like you to do is get a piece of paper and draw this simple food chain, please, just as a recap. So you will need to pause the video now. Okay, so in your answer, you should have the tree as producer, caterpillar as a herbivore, the blue tit is an omnivore, and it also it eats caterpillars, but also seeds. Sparrowhawk is a carnivore, and then you have the different levels. So producer, primary consumer, secondary consumer, and tertiary consumer. Now in the food chain, you can see that there are different levels. So you start with a producer and you go through the different consumer levels. And these are known as trophic levels. So trophic levels is the position of organisms within a food chain and they're known as trophic levels. And they can be represented by numbers. So level one can be plants and algae, for example. So plants and algae are producers. Level two, as we said before, primary consumers, the, they are herbivores. Level three is secondary consumers. They're carnivores that eat herbivores. And then le uh, level four is usually tertiary consumers or apex predators at the top of the food chain. You also have decomposers. These secrete enzymes to break the organisms down. Now, these trophic levels can be shown in what we call a pyramid of biomass. It's important to remember what biomass is, though. So biomass is the mass of material in living organisms. It's often measured as the dry mass of biological material in grams. The reason being that there is water differences. Water content is different in different species. Um, there's less energy and less biomass every time you move up a trophic level. This is due to energy transfers and not all of the energy being transferred into the biomass of the animal. So let's have a look at an example. So here we have the example of the food chain I just showed you. So you can see you start off with the leaves in the tree, um, then the caterpillar, which is the primary consumer, then the secondary consumer, the blue tits, and then the tertiary consumer, the sparrowhawk. And what you'll notice is the biomass is reducing at each level. Now, each bar, as I said, in the pyramid, it shows uh, the biomass, the relative mass of material at each trophic level. The bar at the bottom is trophic level one. It always is producers. So it's always trophic level one. Um, and what's interesting is that this is drawn to a scale. So each square in this case is 25 kilograms. So you'll notice that um, in the bar for the producer, you'll have 250 kilograms one side and 250 kilograms the other. And you'll notice a few things in terms of the width of the bars are the same for each trophic level, but the, the length of the bars is different. And that depends on the amount of biomass. So when you're drawing a pyramid of biomass, then you're going to need to use a ruler. In an exam, I'll show you an exam question in a minute. They do give you a uh, graph paper to do this. Um, but there's a few key things you need to remember. So the wider the bar, the more biomass there is. The heights of the bars at each trophic level stay the same. You have to label each bar. So you can label it either with the name of the plant or animal or you could label it as trophic levels. Um, and you must make it scale um, if you're using graph paper. Now that's the hardest thing to do. So here's an exam question. So it says, figure one shows a food chain for organisms in a river, the biomass of the organisms at each trophic level. And it shows the algae, which are producers, then the invertebrate animals, which are primary consumers, small fish, secondary consumers, and large fish, which are the tertiary consumers. They then show you the biomass in grams per meter squared. So 
um, you can see that the levels reduce. So that's why it's a pyramid shaped, um, because biomass is reduced at each trophic level. So the question says, draw a pyramid of biomass for the, for the food chain, that's over the, this food chain um, on this graph paper. And you should use a suitable scale, label the X axis and label each trophic level. OK, so I'm just going to show you uh, what I've drawn on this graph paper. So here we go. So the first thing is to label the X axis. So it's biomass in grams per meter squared. You need to use a suitable scale. So what I've decided to do is, well, the biggest number is 840. So that half of that is 420. So I need to work out a scale that will fit. I also need to take into account that I've got some smaller numbers. Um, the higher up I go on the um, in terms of the uh, trophic levels. So what I've decided to do is this. So each uh, large square here is going to be 50. Now, excuse the scale. The scale is correct, but it's quite hard to uh, write it down. So you have to be very careful. So if each of the main squares is 50, then the minor squares, each of them are 10. OK, so then you get your ruler and you draw. So what you can see is so 840. So half of that is 420. So I've found 420. There's 400, 10, 20. So you can see I've drawn it on that side and equally on the other. And then the next one is the invertebrate animals. And that's an easy one because it's 100 each side. 40 again, that's 20 each side. So that's going to be a bit more fiddly in terms of the using the smaller squares. And then large square, even fiddlier, because it's only one square either side of the line. So uh, I now need to label each trophic level. So I'm going to label it with the words. Now, with the name of the organism, sorry, you could say trophic level one, trophic level two, trophic level three, trophic level four. Or you could say producer, primary consumer secondary consumer, tertiary consumer. But here I've just used labeled them using the animal species that they've given in the question. So that's how you answer a question when you need to construct a pyramid of biomass. So as I've said to you, um, biomass is being um, is reduces as we go up the food chain. So I'm going to talk about how biomass transfers through a through a food chain and what happens to um, all of the energy in the uh, food chain because not all of it is being transferred into the biomass of the animal i hope you found that uh, video useful please do subscribe if you haven't already to uh, dr biology and there'll be more videos coming soon